Have you ever wondered how vital your liver is to your overall health? This remarkable organ tucked away in your abdomen plays an essential role in your body. From filtering harmful substances, aiding digestion, to producing crucial proteins, your liver is a bit of an unsung hero. However, like any other part of our body, the liver can also fall victim to a range of diseases. These liver diseases can disrupt its crucial functions, leading to serious health implications. They can range from mild conditions like fatty liver disease to more severe ones like cirrhosis or liver cancer. Some are caused by viruses, others by genetic factors or lifestyle choices. The tricky part, many liver diseases are silent killers, often showing no symptoms until the disease is advanced. But don't worry, there's hope. With early detection and proper treatment, many liver diseases can be managed effectively. In this video, we will delve into the world of liver diseases, their causes, symptoms and treatments. The liver, located in the upper right part of your abdomen, plays a crucial role in your body. This organ, which is about the size of a football, is truly a powerhouse of functionality. Its primary job is to filter the blood coming from the digestive tract before the blood passes to the rest of the body. In the process, the liver detoxifies harmful substances and metabolizes drugs, ensuring that our body stays healthy and balanced. But that's not all. The liver is also responsible for protein synthesis. This means that it produces the proteins necessary for blood clotting and other functions. Furthermore, it creates bile, a substance needed to absorb fats and fat-soluble vitamins in the small intestine during digestion. The liver also stores some vitamins and iron, converts stored sugar into functional sugar when the body's sugar levels fall, and even destroys old red blood cells. Given these vital functions, any problem with the liver can have serious implications for our health. There are several types of liver diseases that can affect your health. First off, let's talk about hepatitis. This is an inflammation of the liver usually caused by a viral infection. There are five main types of hepatitis viruses named A, B, C, D and E. Hepatitis B and C are particularly concerning as they can lead to chronic disease and are often associated with liver cirrhosis and cancer. Now let's discuss cirrhosis. This is a late stage of scarring or fibrosis of the liver caused by various forms of liver diseases and conditions, such as hepatitis and chronic alcoholism. When a healthy liver tissue gets damaged and replaced by scar tissue, the liver's ability to function properly diminishes. Over time, as the condition progresses, it can lead to liver failure, a life-threatening condition. Lastly, we have liver cancer. This is a type of cancer that starts in the cells of the liver. There are several types of liver cancer, but the most common type is hepatocellular carcinoma. It's important to note that liver cancer is often a secondary result of other liver diseases like hepatitis or cirrhosis. Each of these diseases presents different challenges and complications. Hepatitis can escalate to chronic conditions. Cirrhosis can lead to liver failure and liver cancer, if not detected and treated early, can be fatal. But it's not all doom and gloom. There is a silver lining. The liver is an incredibly resilient organ. It has the ability to regenerate itself, making it possible for a person to live even if a part of the liver is removed or damaged. So it's crucial to keep our liver healthy and functioning optimally. Early detection of any of these diseases can make a significant difference in the outcome. Regular checkups, a balanced diet and a healthy lifestyle can go a long way in maintaining liver health. Now that we know the common liver diseases, let's explore their causes. Liver diseases can be caused by a variety of factors. Let's delve into some of the main causes. Firstly, certain viruses can lead to liver diseases, the most notable ones being hepatitis A, B and C. These viruses infect the liver cells, causing inflammation and, in severe cases, can lead to liver failure or cancer. It's important to note that these viruses are usually transmitted through contaminated food, water or close contact with an infected person. Another common cause of liver disease is alcohol abuse. Excessive alcohol consumption over a prolonged period can cause alcoholic liver disease, characterized by inflammation, scarring or even cirrhosis, which is the late stage of scarring. The liver processes alcohol, but too much can overload it, leading to damage and disease. 
Genetics also plays a significant role in liver diseases. Certain inherited conditions, such as Wilson's disease, where the body retains too much copper, or hemochromatosis, where it retains too much iron, can lead to liver damage. These diseases are passed down through generations and can manifest at any age, depending on the individual's genetic makeup. Lastly, obesity has become a leading cause of liver disease in recent years. Excessive fat accumulation can lead to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD, a condition that causes inflammation and damage to the liver cells. This disease is often associated with conditions like diabetes and high cholesterol, which are common in individuals with obesity. Each of these factors can cause significant damage to the liver. They can lead to inflammation, fibrosis or cirrhosis, and in the worst case scenario, liver failure or cancer. Importantly, many of these factors are preventable or manageable with the right lifestyle choices and medical care. Understanding these causes is the first step to prevention, but how do we know if we have a liver disease? Stay tuned as we delve into the symptoms of liver diseases in the next section. Liver diseases often have symptoms that can alert us to potential problems. Just as a car dashboard displays warning lights when something's awry, our bodies also send out signals when our health is compromised. One of the most common symptoms of liver diseases is jaundice. This is a condition where the skin and the whites of the eyes turn yellow. This yellowing effect is due to an excess of bilirubin, a yellow pigment that's normally processed and eliminated by a healthy liver. When the liver is not functioning properly, bilirubin builds up, leading to jaundice. Another telltale sign is abdominal pain, particularly in the upper right area where the liver is located. This pain can range from a dull ache to a sharp, intense pain, and it may worsen after consuming fatty or heavy meals. Chronic fatigue is also a frequent symptom. This is not just feeling a little tired after a long day, it's a constant state of exhaustion that doesn't improve with rest. It's like running a marathon every day without the satisfaction of crossing the finish line. Moreover, unexplained weight loss is often a red flag. If you're losing weight without trying, and it's not due to changes in diet or exercise, it could be a sign that your liver isn't metabolizing nutrients properly. These are just a handful of symptoms, and remember, they can also be signs of other health conditions. The key thing is not to ignore them. If you're experiencing any of these symptoms, it's important to seek medical help. Your doctor can run tests to determine the cause and recommend an appropriate course of action. Our bodies are complex machines, and just like a car, they need regular maintenance and care. Ignoring the warning signs can lead to further damage and complications down the road. So, listen to your body. When it whispers, you don't want to wait until it screams. Recognizing these symptoms can lead to early diagnosis. But what happens after we've been diagnosed? We'll delve into that in the next segment, so stay tuned. Liver diseases are serious, but treatments are available. Let's delve into the common treatments for these conditions. First and foremost, lifestyle changes are often the initial step. This might involve reducing alcohol consumption, adopting a balanced diet, or committing to regular exercise. These changes can help to mitigate the symptoms and slow the progression of the disease. In addition to lifestyle adjustments, medications play a pivotal role in managing liver diseases. For instance, antiviral drugs can treat hepatitis, while medications like ursodeoxycholic acid can help with conditions like primary biliary cirrhosis. In severe cases where the liver is severely damaged or failing, liver transplantation may be considered. This procedure involves replacing the damaged liver with a healthy one from a donor. It's a major operation, but can significantly improve quality of life and increase life expectancy for individuals with advanced liver diseases. While treatments can manage liver diseases, prevention is always better. Let's remember that taking care of our liver health is essential to overall well-being. Today, we have learned a great deal about liver diseases. We've delved into the crucial role that the liver plays in our bodies, acting as the detoxifier and filter, and how its health impacts our overall wellness. We've explored common liver diseases, from hepatitis to cirrhosis, each with its own unique causes and symptoms. We've unpacked the causes of these diseases, 
highlighting how lifestyle choices such as excessive alcohol consumption and unhealthy diets can lead to liver damage. Furthermore, we've emphasized the importance of recognizing symptoms, which can range from jaundice to abdominal pain to ensure early detection and treatment. In terms of treatment, we've discussed how intervention can vary, depending on the disease and its severity, from medication to lifestyle changes and, in severe cases, even liver transplants. By understanding liver diseases, we can take steps to protect our health and ensure our liver functions optimally. Thank you for joining us in this educational journey.